Here I am at the Great Wall, it's China's number one tourist destination. It was built over 2,000 years ago by the Chinese to keep out foreign invaders. But nowadays, foreigners are coming back again. They're invading 25,000 of them a day, where they come to eat, walk, hang out, and even go camping. In place of sleeping in a five-star, I opted to sleep under all the stars right on the Great Wall. I would do anything to experience the wall at different times of the day and night, including sleeping like a soldier. One of the seven great architectural wonders of the world was my mattress. <laughs> it was firm. It snakes its way nearly 6,000 kilometers across plain, mountain, and desert. The Great Wall is one of the only sites in the world that truly fulfills all expectations. With hot ginger tea in hand, I took in the awesome sight of the wall extending as far as my eyes could see. Refreshed, we ventured off to explore this gentle giant while a workman started his day, a tradition of maintaining the wall over 2,000 years. After several kilometers of morning trekking, Laura and I rendezvoused with some friends from the Sheraton Beijing for a luncheon the likes of which none of us had ever seen. This is the first time I'm in this section of the Great Wall, and I must say that this is just fantastic. Uh, of course, the scenery is fantastic e almost everywhere, but this is uh, even, let's say, more nature-like. And still, I must say that one good thing here is that not so many other tourists visit the place. If climbing up the Great Wall for a five-star luncheon, Sheraton style is not enough, you can always abseil down, but there's only one rule. I will not complain. For the adventurous, exciting team-building activities can be arranged through I Will Not Complain, a well-established experiential training company geared to fulfilling the particular needs of the meetings and incentives market. Participants can enjoy tailor-made programs, including abseiling, I call it repelling, right down the wall.
running a program which is um, helping them work together better as a team, okay. uh, improve communication, leadership skills. Also, um, same idea, instill a positive attitude towards challenge, towards um, challenges that you face in your life. Did you do the app sale? Yes, yeah? it's very exciting. I can do this. Yeah. I find my <laughs> potential skill. Wow. Yeah. Great. So it's a once in a lifetime thing for people, upselling off the Great Wall. It's very few people who get an opportunity to do this. Mm. Generally, people find it pretty exciting. So many uh, activities, it's the first time we have, uh, we have done in our life. And, uh, you know, when we did that, we said, no, we cannot do that. No, we, we can't. And then they said, yes, you can, you can. And then we cannot believe, and then we. We have done that. Sleeping out on the wall and awakening on the wall, it's just amazing. And seeing this wall, what is it, a 6,000 kilometer thing, and you're just part of it, this little piece of wall, this little fortress house, our little house. And just being back to basics, enjoying sleeping out and wandering around on the wall, not the, the, the very touristic parts. As you see, it, it's just a part where nobody is and it's our little wall, it's, it's, it's only us. Many parts of the wall have fallen into disrepair, but there are two sections that you can easily visit from Beijing. The first is at Badaling, 45 miles northwest of the city. It's a favorite outing for the capital's residents, and you'll have to share this view with many of them. The wall lost its military importance between the 6th and 14th centuries when determined invaders discovered that bribing sentries was easier than scaling its heights. During the Ming Dynasty, however, it was rebuilt, and this is the wall we see today. A little farther away, two and a half hours drive from Beijing, is the Jin Shanling Great Wall section. It's also well preserved and you'll have it almost all to yourself. My night spent sleeping on the Great Wall, combined with the splendid luncheon, made me feel a part of history. It will always be an unforgettable memory. <laughs>